that team. Yeah, see you <laughs> yeah, I tell you, these fanatics, these these fanatics are something else, man. These crazy ass people, All right? Bunch of crazy ass motherfuckers out here. Crazy ass people who think that they're morally superior when they are morally corrupt more than anybody else. That's right, you hear the big car horn? Agree with me. They are morally corrupt. There you go. <sighs> Tell you. <laughs> red theme is there's a reason why she cuts in front of me all right so you guys can see okay and let's see you're gonna be using her to target me I guess like they did with that other young nigga pink female and here comes the sirens now all right they go the hand behind the, the head thing all right Let's see, let's see, let's see. Tell you. Okay. <laughs> and they've gotten these black women so rebellious in their nature now. I shouldn't say in their nature, but so rebellious in their psyche in their psyche that when again they talk about leadership, but they don't want leadership. The only leadership they want is the man's wallet, the man to leave with his money, nothing else. That's what I said, they will become the, and particularly, let me tell you how they, they operate, the white supremacists and how they use black women within the black community. So black women who are normally not the most uh, attractive to most men, right, who looks a certain way that, you know, again, uh, they are conditioned with the colorism mindset more than black men. They are conditioned with this idea of the kind of man, oh yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, now I'm talking the truth, right? They are conditioned with the idea of what kind of man that they want. So they will not pay attention to 70% of the men out there, good men. Right? And they will be attracted, mostly attracted to the 20% of men who are the, the men that they desire, their fantasy type man. Right? Because he may have certain things and other women may want him. Right? And then the other 10% of men, which is the in-between, the average and the desirable men, you know, they'll deal with those men. Those are the men who are most likely uh, some of them will marry into uh, two again, which is only 10% of those men, right? And so, when the men that they desire don't want them for a relationship, just sex, they want to get something out of that relationship, and that is a child because they think in their mind by having a child for that man that they can uh, uh, trap that man into being in a relationship with them, which never works. But again, it is a pattern that they, that is being passed down generation after generation, right? And they don't seem to understand it, and they can't understand it, right? Because what's been happening, in, particularly in black America and in black culture, a big part of black culture is, is created by white supremacy and white supremacists. If you don't believe me, go and read Dr. Amos Wilson's book, The Falsification of the African consciousness and you have a, a pretty good idea of what it is that they do it's the same thing with the men so you have men who are most men are unattractive to most women and so those men who are unattractive to most women if they do get a chance to date a woman most likely they, they will try to trap these women by getting them pregnant this is why you have to raise your sons and your daughters with a basic understanding of you know the psychology of who we are and how we're conditioned 
to not let them fall for these sort of mindset because uh, it'll only lead to their uh, unhappiness. Talk to you guys soon.